Hello, Rose Red Homestead and Trail Grazers. This is going to be another video that I'm going to be posting in both places because it is about our new arrival, our baby blue, or the Bluetti. Um, this is the smallest size Bluetti, and this is very much for emergency preparedness and for having power when we are out camping. And so it fits both channels perfectly. Also, this little square thing right here is our new sound system. And um, I hate that it's so big and bulky, but it gives beautiful sound. So I hope you are noticing a difference and we're gonna work on it, see if we can be more discreet about this. I'd like to have it hidden, but then that's just me because I'm vain. Anyway, we were very, very excited to arrive home from our trip uh, to Bryce Canyon on Saturday and uh, found our package waiting for us with the Blue Eddy. And this is the, um, let me give you the model number. I've already put it up in our, um, in our Amazon store. This is the EB3A, EB3A. And it's listed for $299, currently with a $60 off coupon, which we used when we bought ours. And while we were up at uh, um, Bryce, they put out a $90 off coupon. And we seriously debated about getting another one, but we didn't. Um, but in any case, it's back to $60, which means that um, we paid um, $239 for it instead of $299 with that $60 off plus tax. And uh, we've been playing with it ever since we got it home. And we're just having the time of our lives playing with this. now. This is not a super powerful solar generator. It is a 600 watt AC inverter. Now AC is alternating current and it has a pure sine wave. Now I'm gonna get a little bit technical, but you can forget about this right after you listen to me because you don't need to know this in order to run it. But I just want you to know some of the features because this has more features than any of its other competitors for the same um, power delivery and the same price, except this price is quite a bit lower. I was really impressed with this. Power comes into this from solar as um, DC, direct current, and that inverter flips it over to um, alternating current, or it can. It also keeps some of the DC as well. We have that choice. But the thing about it is that it is a pure sine wave, sine, S-I-N-E, sine wave, which is a wave that goes like this. And it's very, very smooth and pure. The reason that that is important is that all of our appliances, almost all of our appliances require that pure sine wave delivery of current in order to run most efficiently. Now, the alternative is that some of these inverters have um, a modified sine wave. A modified sine wave is not as efficient. It brings the current in in little chunks instead of a smooth running current. And so it can affect the efficiency of the current delivery and um, it, could, it can affect the efficiency of the appliance, whatever it is you're working on. Now, um, the, the pure sine wave is generally much more expensive, and that is one amazing thing about this, how they have done this and have such a low price point on it is really impressive from my perspective. Now, it has a 600 watts alternating current delivery, so you can, um, you can plug things in that take up to 600 watts. It has 268 watt hours, and that's how long you can run one watt worth of power delivery. So it would feed a one watt appliance for 268 hours. But of course, hardly anything runs on one watt. But I wanna show you some of the other features. First of all, it's 10 pounds. The one thing that I do not like about this is that this handle is hard for me to get up. It just isn't, I don't like the engineering on it. 
it, it has this little indentation for your finger, but you can't get your finger under the handle, and so sometimes it's a two-handled thing. So that's one flaw that I see, but it is certainly not a deal breaker. This weighs 10 pounds, and so it's very, very portable. This will be great. What Jim and I plan to do with this one and, um, and another one, if we would have gotten another one, is we were going to keep one in each office. The primary thing we're going to use this for is for charging up our electronics. For instance, here is my phone. Now I'm going to, now this, this doesn't, it's not plugged in. I'm going to talk about the plugs in just a moment. Um, I'm going to, right now the um, alternating current is on right here. I'm going to come up here where the DC current is and turn that on as well. And so I have both AC and DC power available. And so I'm going to use the DC by putting my phone right here. It right over the top there and it is, as you can see, it is in charging mode. And you can look right at the screen and tell how many watts it's pulling. You've got to go ahead and tap on the screen because it's blank. How many watts is it pulling? Five. So five watts, so that's pretty good. Seven. Okay, going up. Eight. <laughs> and it's 79%. Okay. Four. Yeah, so I'm my phone is really didn't need charging, but I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. So um, one of the one of our viewers asked on one of our earlier solar videos, how do you know? what you can run with one of these, and it was with our Big Blue Eddy, so we now we have Big Blue and Little Blue, Big Blue and Baby Blue, I guess, is what we're gonna call them. Um, and so I, I've been thinking about that question, and I'm, I'm gonna try not to get too technical on any of this stuff. So when you look on the back of a lot of your appliances, whatever they are, it will tell you how many watts it will draw. For instance, my blow dryer, has 1800 watts. Now this is a 600 watt um, inverter. So can I run my blow dryer on this if it's gonna pull 1800? No, I can't. And so I only have 600 to work with and I have only 268 watt hours to work with. And so I can plug in several things and the screen will do all your thinking for you. It will tell you how many watt hours you have left. And essentially it will tell you how many you're using up and how much time you have left before you're gonna to need to recharge it. Okay, so um, how do you charge this thing back up? What, where are we right now? So right now we have a blank screen. Okay, let me turn it back on. When you're wanting to look at it over a long period of time, you have to keep tapping that button. And for a video, doing a video, it's a nuisance. But in real life, you only want to tap it for a second and see what's there anyway. So really, in real life, it'll work just fine. But it has been annoying when I try to do a video or try to explain things or try to look up things. Um, so anyway, it came with these two cables. Originally, it only came with the wall charger. And then because um, I read on Amazon so many people in the past several months have been commenting on, we need to have a solar cable. Why didn't they put a solar cable in? You have to contact the company and have them send you that solar cable. They're, they've started packaging the solar cable and it is right here with our very familiar MC4 male and female connectors. So this is fantastic. The input fits right here, plug that in here, and then this will fit to our solar array, only I will pull two of our panels off. So we only have two. It only accepts 200 watts of input, and since our panels are each 100 watts, I will use an array with only two panels in it. And then we have all of the other connectors that we need. Now, here is the really, really cool thing. I can have this connected to our solar array and plugged into the wall simultaneously, two inputs for this little machine, and it will recharge entirely in 30 minutes. Is that just incredible or what? Blue Eddy really hit the jackpot with that feature and that time. Um, the other thing is that is remarkable 
for the Blue Eddy. And the thing that attracted me to Blue Eddy in the very first place, I was reading a comparison of probably 15 different solar generators. It had a measure that was called cycles, and I wasn't sure what that was, so I had to look it up. And what that means is, how many times can you recharge it? How many times can you recycle it from zero back up to 80% or 100%? Blue Eddy uses 80% as their measure. Um, almost everything was under a thousand cycles, including our very first unit that we bought, which was an EcoFlow Delta Max. If I remember right, that one had 500 cycles, but I don't remember that for sure, so don't hold me to that. This unit and our big Blue Eddy unit have 2,500 cycles, 2,500 times we can recharge this. And that is a high in the industry right now. Somebody, of course, will beat it pretty soon. Then the other thing is that uh, Blue Eddy has an app that you can download. And um, I have it on my phone. And I have both of our Blue Eddies listed. So I've just, I'm just opening... the one for this one, I'm still working on learning the app. But I can, with my app, control this and I can turn it off. I can't turn it on. The app won't turn it on. You have to be in person to turn it back on again. But I still have more to learn on the app for both of them. And so that is in our future. Now, this is not plugged in at all, so we are just running off of the power provided by that inverter. And Jim and I were going all over the house trying this and trying that and trying the other. I mean, it was just a kick. And so right here, I have my vacuum sealer. And notice, no power coming in. So I'm just going to plug this in. So I'm going to uh, get it going. And you can tell how many watts it's pulling to do that vacuuming. 32 watts. Okay. So then it would tell me how many hours I could run it. Right down here it says five and a half hours. Five and a half hours I could run it at 32 watts. And so the screen gives you all the information that you need. And so that is just, that's a great feature. Now I'm not going to bring in everything that we tried. It will run our TV. It will run our little um, portable refrigerator. Uh, that refrigerator pulls about 31 watts as well. And that, that's all on um, AC. On DC, it will charge up the battery that goes with this. This is that work light that I've shown before that we really do like. And so since DC is already on, I'm just going to put this in here. And you can see that it is charging this as well. So, And I can run it while it's charging. This is a great light to have for emergencies. And it's battery operated, so you can charge it with this and then it will run for several hours um, after it is charged. It already has power in it, so I just need to turn this off. We tried out a number of battery chargers for various tools. And every single one of them works on this. And they draw anywhere between 15, 18 to 20 watts charging up. And you can charge up a whole battery for that, including Jim's shaver. Is it a shaver or a razor, Jim? I don't even know what you call it. It's what? Beard trimmer. Oh, a beard trimmer. So it will even work his beard trimmer. So we're pretty sold on this. And um, I have not yet tried to charge it up with our solar panel. I'm going to do that. We um, will continue to use this. It's going to be great to, to have in our trailer or our tent when we go camping. It will be great to have in our offices when uh, the power goes down. And one of the reasons that we did not get another one is that uh, we have the big one. And we have that big one on a cart. Oh, I need to show you those two carts. We'll do a video. We bought one cart, which works great in the house for the big Blue Eddy. And then um, it didn't work at camp. The wheels were too small, so we found another one. But we'll show you that on another video. And then, um, so we'll, 
we can move this, it's very mobile, put it anywhere in the house where we are needing to either charge something up or pull 600 watts on something. Now, one more thing I wanna give a caution on is that um, this has a, a special setting where, I'm gonna get technical a little bit, um, the way that you calculate watts is to multiply amps times volts. Amps times volts equals watts, and this is 600 watt AC inverter. Now, there is a setting where you can mess with that equation uh, with the number of amps and the number of volts, and you can run things that are um, ordinarily you would not be able to run on this machine, and the machine does it itself. I won't ever do that, and I'll tell you why. Um, because if I were to leave it on that setting, and it, it's all covered in the instruction book, which you need to read before you turn it on, um, if you leave it on that setting, and then you plug in your computers or some of your other devices, it can ruin those devices. So I'm not gonna take that chance and I don't need to take the chance because we have the big Blue Eddy that we can um, use things that pull uh, more, that need more power. So that is our preliminary review of what we have done so far with this machine. I am really liking it and it is very easy for me to carry. So that's one of the best things is that I can carry it around the house if I can get the handle up quickly. So we recommend this and um, this and everything that we have used for solar is up on our Amazon site. And some of you have said that, well, I try to go to your Amazon store and it, um, nothing shows up. And what a couple of our viewers have reported is uh, the big issue is the privacy settings on your device, either on your phone or on your computer. If they are set at a, a very stringent level, then it's not going to let those things through. So you just have to make your choice on what you'd like to do. Also, it may have something to do with cookies. We've tried and tried to diagnose it, and that's as close as we can come. But we do appreciate it when you go through our Amazon store. We're not here to sell you stuff. The proceeds from that Amazon store we split with um, St. Jude Hospital and Primary Children's Hospital. So thank you so much for being with us with this video. We appreciate Rose Red audience. We appreciate Trail Grazers audience. And we have such fun in both communities. So thank you so much for your support and sharing and getting the information out to those who would benefit from knowing the things that we talk about in our videos. So we will see you at our next video.